Yes, a wokey One News reporter tries to make news out of nothing. The Minister for Arts, Culture and Heritage ordered officials to remove Māori greetings and the word Aotearoa from an official invitation to a foreign dignitary for Matariki celebrations. Paul Goldsmith says because the invite was going to an Australian politician, he wanted to keep things simple. Senior political reporter Benedict Collins has this exclusive report. From the Paris Olympics. God, I hate this piece of woke crap. She makes me cringe. To the National Party Conference. No, no, Party Mike. Te Reo Māori is being used more and more. Te Reo Māori is a taonga. It's intrinsic to uh, Māori identity, culture, history. It's actually about our past, but it's about our future. Our newest public holiday is for celebrating the Māori New Year. But our culture minister believed there was too much te reo in official invitations. Kia ora, minister. Hi. Hey, um, why did you ask officials to take Aotearoa and Māori greetings out of these Matariki invites? Uh, well, as, uh, as I recall, it was in relation to sending an invitation to an Australian. Who speaks English. Uh, Minister, I didn't think he needed uh, a lot of te reo in his invitation because he's an Australian. Yeah, exactly. Who speaks English. Yeah, I mean, oh, of all times... the scandal of the century, I would have thought. Yeah, but oh, of all times to use Māori, wouldn't it be in an invite to Māori New Year, to Matariki? Oh yeah, but I was just sending it, when I send an email or an invitation to an Australian minister, I just didn't think it needed a lot of te reo in it, that was all. Email chains released to One News show the invitation officials initially proposed went from te koe to dear, and Aotearoa New Zealand to simply New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand, our country's real name. The sign-off replaced with, yours sincerely. Hmm. An official noting the minister wanted all te reo Māori salutations and references made to Aotearoa New Zealand removed. When you look at our coalition agreement, it says unless there's been a referendum changing the name of our country, uh, the name is New Zealand. It's an exactly. An insult. Uh, oh, everything's an insult to this guy. 